I'm Teresa Strasser and you're on the list. Coping with the Panda Camp shutdown and a drive-in that's well worth the drive. Ashley Porter shows you what's going on around South Florida. At number one, the plight of Panda Camp. For yet another day, the government shutdown has shuttered the National Zoo's lovable live stream. You got panda separation anxiety? We're here for you with videos of lively locals at the zoo like sleeping koalas, even this fennec fox that made a rare appearance for us. What does the fox say? How about golden lion tamarins and cotton top tamarins? Researchers just discovered these guys can whisper. Can you say that about pandas? We've got cuteness covered until those pandas can fight back. At number two, bring the family. Going for a spin at the drive-in. Big scenes coming up. Kiwi's Big Adventure, just one film you can see this week at the Blue Starlight Mini Urban Drive-In before it officially opens. Other drive-ins, I mean really, they're just parking lots with um, with a screen. And ours, we, we've taken the time to sort of create an atmosphere, a vibe. The Midtown Miami Movie Hub will have theme nights like WTF Theater and Testosterone Tuesday. Oh! even a disassembled Thunderbird for table seating. People love the idea of a drive-in in this city. And at number three, a sea of seafood. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. A USA Today poll just named legal seafoods the best in the country. Their only Florida restaurant is in Boca, and they used to serve at City Place. Joe Stonecrab in Miami swam in at number six. Author Ian Fleming had James Bond eat there in Goldfinger. Anything else? Mama's Fish House in Maui, Boston's Union Oyster House, and Red Fish Grill in New Orleans also made the list. Let's see how many I can fit in my mouth. Now you're caught up and clued in around South Florida. I'm Ashley Porter.